Another victim also had people in tears. She lost her everything that day because her husband gave up his life to save hers. And despite everything today, Mavi Stoddard was able to forgive. Tonight's Not On Your Side team coverage begins with her personal journey from 22 months ago to today. Here's Kevin Keene. In January, Mavi Stoddard described what happened to her and her husband, Dorwin, that dark day. I was starting to fall down, and he fell on top of me. He pushed me on down and fell on top of me to save me. But 76-year-old Dorwin, shot in the head, could not save himself. I held him as he died, and I'm thankful to God for letting me. With her best friend on her mind and in her heart, Mavi faced the gunman Thursday. It's exoneration for my husband. In the courtroom, she told Jared Loeffner, you took away my life, my love, and my reason for living, and you forgot to shoot yourself. That's the very first time that I really stared in his face. What did um, you see? I think I, a lot of it was bafflement, just um, what, you know, what have I done? What have I... What have I created? Stoddard spoke to Kega 9 over the phone from home. She didn't want to spend a moment away from her family on a day like today. What did today mean to you? It meant uh, what most people call a closure. I don't like the word because I don't believe there will ever be a closure. But Stoddard is satisfied her husband's killer will spend his life in prison. Earlier this year, she told us this about Loeffner. I don't hate him. There's no... I mainly feel sorry for him, but I'm working toward being able to say I fully forgive him. I'm not there yet. Today, she is. I told him that I did forgive him, and it taken me a year. It was one of the hardest things I'd ever done. Was there one single moment when you realized when you decided that you forgave him? Yes. That was back when we were candle lighting. Lighting candles during the vigil, marking one year after the shooting. It just kind of came over me that you're hurting no one but yourself. That's all hatred and bitterness ever does, is hurt the person that's feeling it, not the person that it's aimed at. A lot of strength, a lot of forgiveness. I asked Soddard for a final thought on today's events. She said she wants children to see and learn the consequences of committing any crime. She says people are hurt and criminals like Loeffner will have to live with that for the rest of their lives. What an incredible story and a journey for her. Her faith has really helped get her through this. It has. She's a Christian and she said that that helped to bring about this forgiveness and she also says that it helps her stay on track to be happy again. She's still working on that. Kevin, thanks so much.